You know, uh, this, um, uh, the, the Office of Individual Domestic Violence, the OIDV, yes. Um, I just kind of noticed that there's this um, double standard for those that are employees of law enforcement, yes, uh, versus the individuals that are not. Mm -hmm. Now, um, these employees, they are legally liable, yes. Mm -hmm. You're entitled to seek assistance through the Employee Assistance Program. Yeah. <laughs> Could you get me all that money? True. Then there's the Employee Peer Counselors. Yes. Mm -hmm. The chaplains or psychological professionals of the law enforcement. Yeah. I'd like to know who they are and exactly what they paid in taxes for the last eight years. Yes. Now, I know you'd say, yes, I have known some, some counselors, mm -hmm. some chaplains. Yeah. But when I sit with them, they look at me like I'm crazy right now. Now, uh, for those in various denominations, Seventh-day Adventist, yes. You're getting sued as well as your denomination for your involvement in the refusal to report domestic violence. Huh? Now, employees with knowledge or information about any sworn employee, uh -huh, in violation of this policy, must re report in writing to their supervisor through the agency's professional standards. Yes. I'd like to know all of the uh, individuals in the employment of every agency's professional standards. Yeah, <laughs> their taxes for the last eight years. Failure to report may subject the employee to disciplinary action. Yes. Now, when I report, yes, to law enforcement kidnapping mm -hmm. as being domestic violence. Yeah, they decided to say I was a mentally ill homeless man that didn't understand about due process. Yes. And then when I find out about a parenting plan where I think I do know what was put on it, yes, they seem to think that it's not malicious prosecution, yes, to proceed against a respondent, yes, without having any due process to the respondent. Mm. Now, the employees who are victims of domestic violence, yeah, give me all of those, yes. See, let's say you were an actual victim of domestic violence, yeah, and you're an employee of law enforcement, yes. And you do know of forgery, uh -huh. fraud, uh -huh. kidnapping, uh -oh. child abduction, yes, the violating of Hague Conventions, right, International Criminal Court, yes, and then you do know about victims' rights, resources, restitution, yes, I'm going to sue you for the knowledge that you have of your personal life experience of being a victim of domestic violence while at the same time being employed in law enforcement. Oh, you have an additional level uh, of liability for any knowledge that you have. <laughs> Could you get me all the employees? Yes, in all law enforcement agencies. Right. In, in well, actually throughout the United States, that would be state and federal. Yes, tribal government. Yes, city and county. Yeah that have all said, well, I'm a victim of domestic violence, and I do know, yes, that Paul is having his rights violated, his sons were taken, mm -hmm. and that he was not given any due process during a dissolution of marital school, mm -hmm. was not given any due process when issuing protection orders. He was not given, yes, the actual enforcement of the expungement order from Guam. Right. I just want to know every victim who of domestic violence, yes, that I can sue them for their personal life experience. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems like a double whammy. Yes, on the one side, you've been a victim. Yep. But on the other side, you're liable for what you know. Now, employees should be alert mm -hmm. to the likelihood of victim or witness intimidation. Yes, they should. Immediately take appropriate action. Yep. And then employees are expected to fully cooperate with an investigation of allegations under the chapter as requested. Mm -hmm. Supervisor, or professional standards investigator, or court subpoena. Mm -hmm. I mentioned my want to use the courts of the United States. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you get me the employees of every court again? Yes. Those that do know and those that don't. Yes. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm suing them as uh, court employees of any county, mm -hmm. tribal, oh, as well as any state court, yeah, and all the federal courts, yes, any department, agency, or any of those that could have been a victim. You know what? Why don't you get me all seven million individuals, all state employees, all federal employees, yeah. 
See, I talked to you a little bit about that signed statement that we would um, we would expose corruption wherever di- wherever discovered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to know all of you that have been a victim of domestic violence because I'm going to sue you for the additional liability of what you know. <laughs> and as much as you got, well, I know it's not funny. Okay. It's not funny, <laughs> but your personal experience with any of these actual policies of the United States is, means that you are additionally liable for the knowledge that you have. Uh, uh, uh. Now, um, for those that haven't been a victim of domestic violence, yes, you've been educated about it, yes. You understood what it was, Mm -hmm. and you decided that instead of enforcing my rights as a citizen, mm -hmm, you would open up the door for me to settle every victim of domestic violence for the last 40 years that happen to be employees of any form of government of the United States. (laughs) Now, I'm going to want the assets. Now, the Family Law Handbook, yes, 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 mm -hmm. it has 666 KB on it, yes, as if the devil owned the Washington State Supreme Court. This was printed on July of 2019. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably a new one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I kind of, I think I went through this, maybe not. Yes. That um, there's a commissioner there, uh, Michelle. Yeah, I'd like to have all your assets. Mm -hmm. And then all the Superior Court judges in the Association of Superior Court Judges. Yeah. And then uh, Gretchen. Yeah, I'm going to want your assets. Okay. And uh, all of those that are in Family Law Committee for the last 40 years, Mm -hmm. as well as any taxes that you paid. Mm -hmm. Now, what is an annulment, legal separation, dissolution of marriage? Yeah. Uh, spousal? No, this is parenting plans. Yeah. This is the one that has the problems in it, page 16. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not crimes when it's a dissolution of marriage. No. But I think they are. Mm-hmm. And you don't need, oh, well, is there a waiting period? No. Waiting period uh, to finalize a divorce in Washington State is 90 days. Mm hmm. We waited approximately 90 days. Parties and cases. Divorce case can end. Are there special court forms to use in a divorce? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, facilitators assistance calculating child support. Mm-hmm. Just um, uh, property rights and dividing of assets. Yes. You know, I found this interesting. Dividing property and debts. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean it's 50-50. Mm-hmm. 